PC, accounting for your future. Hi, this is Steve from APC. So welcome to this accounting standard makes it easy video. So in this particular video, we're going to introduce to you the IAS number seven, statement of cash flow. So the IAS number seven says for the statement of cash flow, there will be no restricted format. But according to the guidance that's given by the IAS number seven, the IAS number seven says for this for the statement of cash flow, it should include the following aspect. Firstly, the cash flow. From the operating activities. For example, if you buy the goods or sell the goods to customers, for example, you buy the goods spending five dollars out, but you sell the goods and receive that cash from a customer of twelve dollars. This means that net top against each other, there will be seven dollars here because minus five plus twelve. That will give you seven. So operating activity is something to do with your day-to-day -day running of the business. It's where you're going to buy goods and sell goods. So those cash in and cash out will be included into the operating activity cash flows. Of course, within the operating activity cash flows, it will include, for example, that the uh, money you spend in uh, paying for those interest expenses, paying for tax expense. So those will be included into the operating activities as well. Secondly, it should include the cash flow from the investing activity. It is something to do with your non-current asset. For example, you spend $10 in buying the machinery. So that $10 needs to be included into the investing activity as the minus 10. So you call it the bracket 10 because you spend money out in buying the machinery uh, for your own. The third component within the statement of cash flow, you include the cash flow from the financing activities. Is we're going to issue some shares, we're going to uh, borrow the long term debt from the bank example. So if we're going to issue some shares, you got uh, $10 from the shareholder and that $10 plus 10 will be included into the financing activity. When summarizing those all together, that's called the cash movement. Cash and cash equivalence movement. So summarizing those together, that will give you seven. This means it's the changes in the catch balances during the year. How are we going to do this? Is simply we're going to take the opening catch balances together with the closing catch balances. So for example, the opening catch balances to be 10 but closing cash balances is to be 17, so that the cash balance is increased up by seven. Why this is the case is because of, firstly, operating activity of seven in, and investing activity of 10 out, with another 10 in from the financing activity. So netting off together, that would give you seven. But the question for that is, why are we going to show this? Of course, the opening catch and closing catch will be detailed into the SFP, which is the statement of financial position. Within the statement of financial position, then, we've got the opening catch of 10 and the closing catch of 17. So the opening catch will be the last year's catch balance within the SFP, and the closing catch will be this year's Catch balances within the SFP. So we're going to compare two sets of financial statements. One is 10, one is 17, which means that the catch balances is increased by seven uh, during this year. So why this is the case that the IS number seven says it needs to be split into three elements, operating activities, 
investing activities and financing activity as we uh, have seen here uh, operating activities 7 in investing activities 10 out finance activity is at 10 in so that netting off that will give you 7 so why should we split this movement into three reasons or OIF OIF uh, operating investing and financing activity is simply because from the conceptual frameworks perspective we have to provide the useful information to the user and one of the qualitative characteristics within the useful information is that we need to show the understandable information to the user so we need to show the understandable financial statements to the user telling them why there's an increase of seven dollars worth of cash maybe because of the operating activity, maybe because of the investing, or maybe because of the financing activity. Okay, so that's all for the IS number seven introduction, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this lecture, and looking forward to seeing you in the next of our accounting standard. APC, accounting for your future.